The nation of CHOP is nearly a week old now, and yet still surprisingly little is known about CHOP, formerly known as CHAZ. Is the nation peaceful or is it dangerous? Is it prosperous? Is it impoverished? Is it friendly? Is it hostile? Like in North Korea on Puget Sound, we can only guess snippets of information leak out, supplemented by daring acts of investigation. We have one such foray tonight. Our own Kyle Rothenberg ventured in to the nation, formerly known as downtown Seattle. Here's what he found. There it is, documentary evidence of life inside CHOP. Chopistani is going about their business, Chopistani Customs in action. We should warn you, though, what you just saw is just a snapshot. The nation of CHOP is dynamic. It's changing even as we watch. For one thing, it's getting smaller. It already was small, smaller than the Vatican, but today CHOP was partitioned by the city of Seattle. It ceded several blocks back to its former overlords. In return, the country's makeshift barriers are being replaced with solid concrete blocks because nothing makes the country more quickly than a border. That's what we've learned from CHOP. Radio host Jason Rance is our man on the ground outside the nation of CHOP on the DMZ. He joins us tonight. Jason, I see that they've beefed up their border security. They have, although the city has decided to beef up the border security, not necessarily those who are living within CHOP. So earlier today, the mayor of Seattle, Jenny Durkin, made the announcement that essentially they came to some kind of compromise. This was a Tip O'Neill, Ronald Reagan type of situation where they decided to cede over some of the land so that emergency vehicles and people who actually live there and drive there can actually get through. Because remember, CHOP happens to be in the middle of a space that a lot of people live and a lot of people work. However, because we're dealing with a organization that isn't really an organization, it's just a lot of different people who are going into the area for their activism, there's not really one leader. So the compromise mm. towards the last hour or so has started to break up a little bit. There's some folks who are angry that they've given up a little bit too much. We're hearing rumors that there's going to be another march towards West Precinct, which is about a 10-minute walk from where they currently are. This would be another police station that presumably they'd like to either take over or at least use to get their activism out there. So consider this manifest destiny of some kind. They potentially will be on the move and maybe get up some more land. Fascinating. If only Margaret Mead were here to study the Chapastanis and their culture. They're a, they're a famously carefree people. And so I want to ask you a sort of open-ended question. You're not administering blood tests, of course. But your best estimate, what percentage of the Chapastani people are sober at any given time? Oh, I don't even know how to begin. I mean, we're not just talking about alcohol, correct? We're talking well, about no, no, other no. potential yeah, substances. But I mean, yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know, uh, so there's definitely a population. I wouldn't, it, it, not everybody there is going to be high or drunk at the same time. Uh, I, I right. will be fair to them. But there is definitely a, a high percentage of folks who are kind of just carefree and having a good time. And actually, that's where some of the anger has come from some of the activists who are there because they're trying to change policy that they've got a lot of people who have essentially just shown up for a party, that they're treating this as a tourist destination. So, yeah, they're showing up high. They're hanging out at Cal Anderson Park. They're eating sandwiches and granola, and they're having a good old time when other people are saying, hey, and it's primarily white people who are doing this, like, could you maybe get back to the whole activism thing that we're here for? So there's some inner, there's some inner struggles. You know, there's, there's, it's always rippling beneath the surface in paradise. One thing every, every Chapastani has in common, no job. Pretty great. Jason, good to see you tonight. Thank you. Good to see you.